Hi, my name is Marilyn Fay. I've been supervisor of the Upstream Services team at the Biodevelopment Center in Martiac since 2014. I have 10 years' experience in biotech and pharma in process development. Upstream Services team delivers tailor-made upstream services such as media and feed screening, non-GMP production, and cell line development. Today, I would like to tell you how we manage cell line clonality during our process of cell line development. The challenge was to define a robust strategy to demonstrate clonality compliant with health authorities' expectation. Indeed, clonality is a major concern because it ensures quality of the product in terms of purity, homogeneity and safety. The key was to have a clear demonstration that the cell line producing the biotherapeutic is cloned from a single cell progenitor. To ensure the monoclonality of the final lead clones, we have decided to combine a single step of limiting dilution with an imaging system. The imaging system allows to get a picture at day zero of each well after cell isolation. When growth is observed in a well, the first picture indicates if originally the well was containing one or more cells. To minimize error coming from operator observation, pictures are checked by two independent operators. To make this strategy more robust, we also decided to validate our protocol of limiting dilution step. First, we define the best seeding density to maximize the number of wells containing only one cell and minimize the number of wells containing more than one cell. Then, we manage a risk assessment in order to identify which equipment could impact the performance of cell isolation. All equipment identified as critical, like cell counter and the plate imager, were qualified. Regarding methodology, we evaluated the accuracy by comparison with Poisson distribution, the repeatability, the reproducibility, and finally, the robustness of the limiting dilution process. Today, we have a strong and efficient strategy to ensure the clonality of the cell line we develop for our clients. To meet regulatory expectations, we choose to combine a qualified single limiting dilution cloning step with an imaging system giving the proof of the single cell originator. The validation of the limiting dilution protocol and the well observation at D0 by two independent operators avoid any risk of polyclonal cell line and ensure final product quality.